In this presentation, we will do the comparison between the synchronous sequential circuits and asynchronous sequential circuits. Before I move to the different points, I want you to have a paper and pen so that you may write the points that we will discuss. There is nothing much special in this presentation except remembering the points. So we will move to our first point and you can see the column for synchronous sequential circuit and column for asynchronous sequential circuit. One by one we will discuss all the points and you can write it in the way. So let's move to the first point. This point is about the difficulty in designing. If I talk about the synchronous sequential circuit then they are easy to design whereas asynchronous circuit is little bit tough to design as compared to the synchronous one. This is our first point and in second point we will talk about the clocking. Okay. If I use a flip-flop in synchronous sequential circuit then it must be clogged whereas if I use a flip-flop in asynchronous one it should be unclogged. So this is a very important point and actually whole story revolves around this clocking. Okay, Because of this clocking and unclocking everything changes in these two circuits. Now let's move to third point. In this we will talk about the execution time or the speed of the circuit. So the synchronous circuit is having a clock and because of that clock the speed is slower as compared to the asynchronous circuit because in that there is no clock. As soon as the input is there the output will be generated. So it is faster. This is an important point to remember. And the fourth point is the very important thing and it all depends upon the clock. The status of the memory element that is our flip flop definitely restores the status or you can say that the state is affected only at the active edge of the clock if input is changed. I by active edge we mean negative edge triggering or the positive edge triggering. So the triggering is edge and it is not level. If it is level it will be asynchronous circuit like in this you can read the status of memory element will change anytime as soon as input is changed. So it is level triggered. If you are giving the input it will not wait for the edge of the clock. It will process the input and generate the output depending upon its propagation delay. So this is all that you need to know about the synchronous and asynchronous sequential circuit. The only thing that you have to remember is the clock. The clock is given in the synchronous sequential circuit whereas we use an unclogged flip-flop in a synchronous sequential circuit. So I will end this presentation. See you in the next one.